Hey beautifuls, it's Preem. I hope everybody's well this week. It is Friday. I'm recording this and as soon as I get finished recording it, I'm going to post it. So, it's like 5.15 now where I am in the Eastern, Eastern time. So, anyway. I've been studying this, this red pill guy. Right? <laughs> I've been studying this red pill guy and I have learned that red pill, manosphere, and what's the rest of them? Like these these red pill and these manosphere guys are a real danger. Um, and they're going to become a real danger in the future for women. And my advice to you is to stay away from them. All of them. It does not matter their race. It does not matter their age. It does not matter. Uh, um, it does not matter their nothing 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 about them nothing about them as if they listening if they listen to manosphere regardless of if, it, if it's like the black manosphere or if it's red pill like those white those white fucking incels over there do not date guys that listen to that kind of content it is demonology um i remember the first time so i have never really heard red pill like i i once i realized what it what it was as a black woman once I, for the first time I heard it, I remember when I heard it, the first time I heard the Manosphere or what we now call a Manosphere, but back then it was Sergeant Willie Pete. And I remember, I remember that I had, could not have been no more than 15 years old. Mind you, I'm 33 now, right? So I couldn't have been no more than 15 years old. Was That was the first time I ever heard Sergeant Willie Pete. And I remember um, that I couldn't have been older than 15 because I remember where I was when I heard it. I remember the desk that I was sitting at. And at this time, in my, in my house, at 15, I, we had, we had one computer, right? So it was no computer in everybody's house. So I remember sitting at the, the computer that, you know, everybody could sit at, everybody that was in the house, all the children. And I remember sitting and I remember running across this content. Now I'm a 15 year old girl. I had must have just, you know, I can't even remember was I 14 or was I 15 or was I 13 because I can't remember if my daughter was born. But what I do remember is that it was so nasty and it, and it lit my soul on fire so much that I, I swore I'd never listen to it again. And then years later in my, in my, in my older teens, Maybe my early 20s, I, I started hearing about Sodomizer. Mind you, whenever this kind of content came out, I never listened to it. The first time I listened to it was Sergeant Willie Pete. I listened to a couple of his videos, but it was it lit my soul on fire because I I because I, I knew I knew that demonology, right? I knew the sound of that demonology. So I did not I didn't listen to it. I listened to it maybe once, I listened to it maybe twice, and I never listened to it again because I knew it was demonology even in my even in my young age. You know, even in even in being 13 or 15 years old, I knew that it was demonology. I knew what it was. So I never listened to it because that, that couldn't settle within my soul. I could not allow that to settle within my soul because it was a demon. It was a demonic spirit, right? So I never listened to it again. Um and then, cause I, I I wasn't well. I was you know after after fifteen, I started mothering, right? So I really never had the time to sit down and watch YouTube videos, um, about <laughs> about anything unless it was something I need to know about. So I didn't have time to really sit down and realize, oh, this is the this is what's becoming the manosphere, right? Um, this is what's becoming the manosphere, and you know, start connecting the dots. But now I'm able to to see, like, oh shit, that was the beginning right sergeant willie p and whoever else was around at that time that was the beginning i was not active on youtube back then because i was mothering right but i think and, and please correct me if i'm wrong and please keep me um abreast on this but i think what happened was the the smart demons right i already told y'all they the son of satan right so the smart demons what they started doing was they didn't use black women right they stopped saying black women they started just saying women right and then the red pillars jumped in right those were the white male incels they jumped in because once you stop saying black women right because the white the white males they don't know that black men hate black women right that's not something they they they're not privy to this this deep spiritual this deep spirituality they really are not privy to it so they don't know that this this is coming this hate for black women is really a hate for mother which is really a hate for the feminine principle 
right so they don't know that so they get they feelings hurt in high school they incels they you know they just going through whatever the fuck white boys go through i don't know <laughs> you know whatever the fuck white boys go through they end up getting angry about it and then they started finding this content that was saying that women ain't shit but it started off saying black women wasn't shit right the real the real tricky the tricky demons stop saying black women right the tricky demons like coach adams right he doesn't say black women he doesn't talk specifically about black women he says women but what he's really talking about is black women right we know that and then we of course know that well sodomizer don't give a fuck he says um black women and sergeant willie p i don't even know if he's still on youtube anymore but but he used to say black women specifically but let me tell you what's happening in, in the spiritual realm right What's happening in the spiritual realm with this? So, all the, all, you know, <sighs> black women, black women first have to understand who we are and the power that we have and the power that we gave our sons, right? And I can say our sons because I don't date, I don't date black men, so it's not incestual to me. You know, if I look at them all as my sons, like Nicki Minaj say, you know, as as me sunning them, as me being beyond them in that way, right? Then it doesn't really, you know, for me, it, it does it, it doesn't really affect me because I'm not I'm not incest I'm not making an incest because I don't really fuck with them. But I do know that they came from the womb of, of black women, and if black women represents goddess then if you coming from the womb from her then you you got to be able to tap into her power some kind of way or you and especially if she's giving it to you right and that's what we do we give black males our power right so they become as influential in some cases more influential than we are right that's why society american society um puts black males above black women because black women have put black males above themselves right so black women have this influence and instead of using it for us we have used it for the fucking thuns and when i'm saying we i'm saying we as a black woman collective i'm not talking about myself i don't put black males up on no pedestal i don't you know um cane black males and i don't um really to be honest i to, to be honest really i don't give a fuck about black males in the sense that i give a fuck whether they are here or, or, or gone you know but i'm gonna say we so that we can understand what i'm saying right so black women we have put black males above ourselves and we have used our influence right our influence our gift and our power to exalt them right so then they come on youtube if 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 i was 13 or 15 13 if i was 13 that was 20 years ago 20 years ago black males came onto youtube and started publicly talking about their grievances against black women now i don't know if red, red pill is older than that but if red pill is older than that please let me know please let me know because what i do know is that the black manosphere is at least 20 years old and I know that from my own memory, right? So anyway, I'm thinking what happened was these these black men, right, who are highly who are who are able to influence in such a way, they came on and they started posting their grievances grievances about black women, the very tricky ones the tricky the tricky demons started seeing women and then white males started to pick up on it with their grievance against their own their own women right and i'm using a whole lot of air quotes here y'all right so they started using it against their own women well white women the white one the white woman white male dynamic is different than the black woman black male dynamic right but it's kind of the same except for except for this uh, this uh, black women came from a matriarch and it was our sons that have decided that they to destroy us right and on the white and white male side and we're gonna get into soon the the spiritual connectedness of black men and black men black women and white men and why this divesting movement is happening on a spiritual level 
right while on a spiritual level black women who are and black women don't have to be as in tune spiritually to to follow the to follow the law of mother right we all get the same downloads whether we whether we are aware of it or not right the same knowledge that i have every black woman has access to whether she wants to tap into it or not it's there for her her use when she needs it so black women are having this this i don't want to say awakening but we're all having this this feel to get away from black males if you got any sense right if you if any way you are connected to mother and, and you're not totally denouncing her you have this sense to get away from black males well we still like men right oh you know we're still straight or we're still even bi and we still want to be with a man so we have this want to still still be with a man so you start deciding you're going to date out and it's a spiritual reason why you do that it's a spiritual reason why we're doing that and we'll get to that in another video right now we're talking about the manosphere and how you should stay away from him because i don't want you to as a black woman decide that manosphere men or black manosphere men are any different than white red pillars right that red pill shit is dangerous as fuck that red pill shit is dangerous as fuck and stay away from it it's it still has it came from the demonology the, the demonology of black males or the son of satan that's the way it came from it started there that's what i'm telling you all of the things that you think that white people or white males have done no they they learned it all from black men they really did they learned it all for black men and their hate and their disdain for women has come from black men has come from black men and so that's what i'm saying so anyway 20 years ago black males got on this youtube was hiding their face just like i'm hiding my now <laughs> but they was hiding their face because i don't know what they was hiding their face for I'm, I'm hiding my face because i work in nursing and i don't want nobody to say oh you know preen is racist and she be on on the interwebs um saying ca calling black males apes right <laughs> so that's why i hide my face not to mention black males are violent as fuck and um you know it could really it could really cause me some physical harm if they were able to know who i am but they were hiding their face i don't know maybe because they was ashamed because it's not like why it's not like black males work nowhere any fucking way so anyway sergeant really p came on and he was hiding his face and he was like fuck black women and then white males picked it up and they black, but they were like fuck women well as i said the, su the supremacy and being a black woman is being equally there is not there is nothing there's there is the, the supremacy and being a black woman is equally being black and woman it's that combination right it's the combination of being black and woman right so you have to defend um your womanhood as a woman first right you have to defend the defend the fact that you are a woman always first because it's just as it's just as important as the fact that you are are, are black right so when so when males are and are saying that women are evil he's talking about the first woman and you embody the first woman now he could get down to talking about white women because he never been with white men women right so these red pillars they come over and they like oh well you know oh they meet you and they just like oh well white women ain't shit you know they lazy and they um and they are ungrateful which is a fact right which is a fact white women really are lazy as shit and ungrateful uh, um but if he's a red pillar right that that's that's that hate is lit is for you that hate is for you it's not for white women it started as a hate for black women white men just picked it up white men just picked it up it began as a hate for women it, it begins as a hate for black women and white men just picked it up so when red pillars come over there and they bashing black white women to you and they're telling you how lazy becky is and yeah be becky lazy as shit 
Becky, Becky lazy as shit. That's true. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you know, she's lazy and she's ungrateful and she's, and she's very manipulative and she's very passive aggressive, but he needs to know that on his own. He does not need to know that from, from being on red pill all fucking day long and, and, and behaving in a lower dimension like the apes, like, like the, like the, like them right he doesn't need to learn it by being in a lower dimension he needs to he needs to know that by 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 simply simply by experiencing experiencing it himself right because a lot of these red pillars these young guys right for women here that are young and they, they, they in their 20s a lot of those guys came over with a red pill because they got a broken heart right they got their heart broke one time and they decided you know what women ain't shit and i'm never gonna deal with one again i'm never gonna love one again but they watch this demonology right this demonology that's sitting in their soul right they right they watching this demonology day in and day out and they are gaining a deep hate for the feminine principle which is you which is you whether they know it or not, whether you know it or not, in their subconscious mind, they know, and they know, we all know in our subconscious mind, the first woman was a black woman. So if they hate women, then they, then they of course hate the first one. It's no safety in red pill for black women. If you are talking to a guy, he is talking, if you're here, you're, you're already, if you're here listening to me, you already, you have already considered to not date, um, Nick Nogs, right? You already decided that that's a, that's something that you want to get away from. But what you don't want to get into is the same the same energy in a different man. Okay, you don't want to get into the same energy in a different man, and you have to be able to use your discernment and deciding what kind of men to date. Those red pillars. Those guys that's going to talk bad to you about Becky and going to, he's, he's actually doing the exact same thing that the niggle bums do when they, when they start dating Becky, right? When they go over there and they start talking about us like we ain't shit. See, the talking, the talking about, the talking about niggle bums, the reason why I'm here and, and most women, let me say, let me say this. I've only, I've only said something about two divested channels on my platform and i'm only going to say something about those two channels so if you don't know what they are you have to go back and you have to listen because it's a whole lot of shit going on in the investment community and i'm not going to mention them again but what i will say is that i you know as um <laughs> as as the meme say that's mine i'm gonna stand behind them because the women who run the platforms right the women the two women who run those two different platforms they really are here because of their care for black women they really are here because they care for black women. Now, I can't say that I agree with everything that every person that comes on their platform and their panel, but I agree with everything that comes out of their mouth, right? So, as I'm saying, they come on here and you notice they come on here to talk to black women, right? You, my purpose here is to talk to black women. Niggle bums come over here to get their feelings hurt. I don't know why. And Zaddy always, Zaddy, you know, Zaddy... Zeddy think this world is so, so Zeddy want to know what's going on so he be over here too but the nigga bombs are over here just to get their feelings hurt I guess and Zeddy want to know what's going on period and all that in all the sectors he want to come over here and see what we talking about but the content here is for black women the content on the other two divested channels that I mentioned previously that content is for black women we make this content for black women only I'm not trying to turn the whole world against I'm not trying to turn the whole world against um, nigger bombs right I'm not here to turn the whole world against nigger bombs when Becky come over to me and she you know she asking me about Tyrone I tell her have at it have at it sis have at it right my warning is to black women only my message is to black women only i'm not trying to turn the whole world against black uh males right they do that on all on their own i don't have to do that work right but the difference over in the manosphere is that that content is not for black males only that content is to turn the entire world against the black woman the feminine principle right 
that that whole thing is to vilify her so that way when they that way when they and this is this is really their plan that way when they begin to kill us no one will care as they already don't but it's just gonna get worse it's just gonna get worse it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse right their goal is to d destroy us and have no one jump in and and say wait a minute this is wrong and this is inhumane and they do that with the red pill right they do that with the red pill because that's really really and really that that's you know we have to get into the esoterics here right we have to get into the esoterics of why people are here and really that's what daddy was here for right that was the power that mother gave him to save us that's why he's here i know that you guys don't want to hear it especially if you are uh, 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 pro-black and you're still in that and the thought of a white savior or white males coming in to save black women is is illogical to you or you can't wrap your mind around it but sis that is what is happening that is what is happening that is what happened centuries and centuries and centuries ago and that's what still happens that's why when your when your baby daddy beating the shit out of you you call a, you call the boys the police and they come and save you that's what he's doing he's coming to save you again and again and again and again but the red pill right the manosphere created red pill is not gonna do that for you it's not going to do that for you. That's why they're very, very, very dangerous. They are demonizing women. They are demonizing women and, and demonizing and in the, in the, in the thoughts. See, this is why I say these, 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 these males are tricky in their demonology. They are almost, because you gave them so much of your power as a black woman, they are almost using your own magic against you. They're using your own man magic against you. So they started off saying black women ain't shit, right? And then they started saying, oh, well, it's not enough of us. If we really tried to destroy, or we really tried to put harm on black women, right? If we really tried to do what we really want to do to get rid of them, Zaddy gonna come in and save them. So then they stopped saying black women and they started saying women. Right? They started saying women. They 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 stopped saying black women. They said, you know, these white males, they getting their feelings hurt by Becky because Becky ungrateful as fuck. That's why that's why the white male black woman dynamic works so good right because black women are grateful right you if you come into our space and you save us time and you save us the things that the masculine really really comes and do we would be grateful that's why mergers between white men and black women are, are very successful because we're grateful for that i don't want to i could do all the work but i don't want to and if you come in and you do all the work for me and i'm able to sit in my femininity and do the things that i care about right to do the things that I care about, I'm grateful. I'm grateful when I'm loving and I'm soft and I'm and I'm which and I'm and I turn into what you want. What you want. And that's 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 what with black look, that's what they hate, right? The fact that when, when white males come into our life, they're able to soften us. But they don't understand that they're able to soften us because they stand firmly in their masculine and in their masculinity. Right? And for that, the feminine is grateful. Anyway, so this is what's happening. <laughs> back to back to these red pillars and this manosphere. So these these guys came on the internet. They said fuck black women. The very smart ones. They said fuck women. The red pillars came up with their broken hearts and their their feelings of being used by um, white women, and they decided, oh fuck all women. Well, that includes finally 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 the niggle bums have got them to start hating us right so when they when they start causing harms against us these red pillars who have this deep hate for women won't do anything about it won't do anything about it they will stand by and watch they will stand by and watch and they do because I've been I've been in a room with two different males and one one was with one one was one was sweet on me. Um and I'm sweet on him. But he was sweet on me and the 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 manosphere 
um nigga bum came in and he was like um started being disrespectful to me and the white guy who who right he he is in manosphere he is in red pill he's just a, a a white male right who understood that i'm a woman and this was a man and he should not have been dealing with me like that he put him out he put him out and when i later talked to that male I, and he said now me and this white guy we were at we were dating at this time right so when he dismissed the black guy like you're not gonna talk to me right like that in front of me right and he dismissed him like it's no bro code here <laughs> like that's what that's, the, that's what these these nigga bums are trying to do they're trying to create a bro code with white males so when they harm you white males will stand down i mean this is deep fucking demonology ladies this is deep fucking demonology. This is this is deep and 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 witty demonology, right? So they try to create this bro code with white men. So when they cause harm to black women, white men will stand down. But this guy that I was with at the time, he wasn't he wasn't into that, right? I was in in his presence. It was a male. I think that the male said that my logic, the my logic was stupid or something like that and he dismissed him and when i talked to that black male later and i didn't know that he was man to you let these guys let these guys that you're dating tell you that they red pills so you can get your pocketbook and go do you understand me get your pocketbook pay your part of the bill and get the fuck out of there as soon as he says some red pill shit some manosphere shit even though he even though i know you're not dating or you're trying not to date if, if you're trying not to date nigga bombs anymore, you start dating those those um, red pillars. As soon as he say some red pill or manosphere shit, sis, get your pocketbook and get the fuck and pay your part of the bill, cause he's just like an ape. You don't you don't pay your part of the bill. He fuck around and cause some bodily harm to you. Pay your part of the bill and get the fuck out of there. So anyway, as I was saying. My guy put him out. And when I talked to the Manosphere guy later, he was like, he he was like, see, he put me out and he's a simp because you said disrespectful things to me. He wanted, he literally wanted a white male to choose him over me that he was getting pussy from. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? He was, it was a white male getting pussy from me, right? He wanted this this black male thought that the white male should choose him over me and he was getting pussy from me he was fucking me i i mean do you like that's crazy that's ludicrous that is ludicrous and that's what these that's what this manosphere be, manosphere begins as they started getting witty in their language what they want to happen is they want white males when it's time and the time is coming swift right when it's time for them to become increasingly violent they want white males to empathize with them and say she deserved it and say she deserved it those red pillars are no different than those manosphere are seeming i'm not quite sure on the language around here because i don't i don't really watch any of it I don't watch any of it. When I'm scrolling through my Facebook page, my Instagram, as soon as I see that shit, I don't let that shit settle in my soul. And I advise you not to, to either. But when you see, but when you see, and you're not just going to see it. See, you have to start getting connected with the divine. And, and, and if nothing else, start meditating. If nothing else, start meditating. If you don't want to get into any witchcraft and you don't want to get into any deep spiritual any deep spiritualism it's already in you it's already in you sis just just quiet enough to hear it just quiet enough to hear it and my advice to you if nothing else meditate that way you can hear it that way you can hear it when you when you hear those guys saying saying that fucking demonology your soul will know your soul will know i can almost instantly i i and within the first within the first couple of conversations with a male i can already tell if he's red pill if he's red pill or, or, or the really to be honest not not a lot of those um not a lot of and where i live at not a lot of the males where i live at because i live in um um I live in the hood, right? So a lot of a lot of hood nigga bums ain't really into that 
man and ain't really into that manosphere shit right and <laughs> to be to be honest most of those guys that's into that manosphere are the, the not are the, the 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 guys that they say that they are right you pick the thugs over them you know that's how you ended up getting baby mama because we picked the thugs over them well because they fucking weaklings because they fucking weaklings duh of course i would pick a fucking thug over a fucking weakling any fucking day if my option is a thug or a weakling what the fuck you think i'm gonna pick you fucking idiot uh, you know you fucking idiots right but anyway they're into deep demonology and you need to be able to hear it you need to be able to hear it and you need to be able to feel it when it's around you because if you're gonna start stop dating um black men as a collective which you are right <laughs> um and you're gonna start moving into moving into other dating arenas you have to start dating men who are going to not have that kind of demonology in his spirit not be influenced by nigger bombs that's why my type and you can disagree with me here my type is conservative white males conservative white males 100% that is my type that's my type as soon as as soon as they start talking that liberal shit I don't want to hear it because you're identifying too closely with the niggle bums I don't like it I don't like it <laughs> I don't like it I don't want it around me you're, you're identifying too closely to the niggle bums and I don't like it so um we we call it you know being adjacent right being niggle bum adjacent right you don't want to you don't want to deal with non-black men who are niggle bum adjacent and you especially don't want to deal with real pill um males they are dangerous as fuck stay away from them all right um yeah that's what i got for today um uh love you guys uh you can comment um if you if you I would like to talk more about this, right? Because I wasn't here. I wasn't here. I heard that shit. I heard that manosphere shit. That black woman hating shit a couple of times. And I was like, fuck no, I ain't listening to this shit. But if you really were here during the time that this manosphere and this red pill shit was coming up, please comment or please send me an email because I really want to know how did it come about. Because what I'm thinking is the nigga bums was here. They were talking about black woman hate. They got smart with it. They started talking about women hate. And now they got, you know, now they done broke up white men so much that now it's a group of fucking incels and fucking degenerates who hate women and um are gonna be a great harm are going to be a great harm to, to women in the future especially black women because when 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 the harms began against women collectively it starts at black women it starts at us and when these nigger bums are killing us left and right like they are now right no one is gonna do anything no one is gonna do anything and you especially don't want to date you listen let me tell you what you don't want to do because this is what this ape this is what this ape wanted wanted to happen when when my guy put him the fuck out what he wanted was he wanted to disrespect me in front of my guy and for my guy to side with him right so can you imagine being out a nigger bomb says some rude or disrespectful shit to you and then you say something back to him he hits you while you're with your white guy and your white guy stands there and watch it and says she deserved it because she just was disrespectful to him that's what these apes really want to be able to harm us without zaddy getting in the way I'm going to get into if you are not going to be a siren woman while your best place is to be. And I, I made a video about this. Um, why your best, your, your best, your best seat is going to be in the comforts of Zaddy. And that's that. And not only that. Um, yeah, yeah. Your best seat is going to be in the, in the, in the, in, in the seat that Zaddy put you in as his queen <laughs> you know if you're not gonna be sovereign that's gonna be your best option and you have to make sure that in if some harm is to come to you that he will protect you 
because because even in being divested, you know, you hope that you never see a you hope that you never see a nigga bomb again. You move away from them, you start dating, not, not dating them, but when you do see them, they will want to wring your fucking neck. And Zeddy gotta be willing to, st to stand up for you and defend you. And those, excuse me, and those red pillars will not. Those red pillars will not, sis. So, stay the fuck away from them. Okay? Um, really, I'm leaving now. I love you guys. I'm gonna post this right now. Um... I'm going to upload it now. Uh, enjoy. And enjoy your Friday. Um, I hope that you guys. I don't know. Something about today just felt different. I have been having a very a very rough week emotionally. Um, but today I woke up and I felt good. Today I woke up and I felt good. So. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the cosmos today. But. Yeah. I'm feeling good these days this day and i hope that you guys are too i hope that you take care of yourself this weekend do something do something you know for yourself this weekend go out to the mall and buy yourself something you know go out and treat yourself to a meal um you know treat yourself to, to something nice do something good to do something good for yourself sis you deserve it um love you guys talk to you later